Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. So hopefully you all will be fine. So today I am going to start the another chapter and that is the first chapter. First chapter of Honda MCQs and that is the electric current electric current and Ohm's law. Okay, so the first MCQs is the resistivity of a wire depend on length, material, cross section area, none of the above. So the correct option is option B that is the material because your resistivity that is equal to R A divided by L and your resistivity depend on the nature of the material. Okay, next MCQ is when n resistance each of value r are connected in parallel, then the resultant resistance is x. When these n resistance are connected in series, total resistance is nx r n x x by n n square x so when n resistance each of value r are connected in parallel then your equivalent resistor that will be equal to r divided by n and that is and then resultant resistance that is the equivalent resistance is x so that is equal to x so your one resistance value of one resistance value will be equal to n x. Now when these n resistances are connected in series, when these n resistances are connected in series, the total resistance is. So when n resistance are connected in series, then the equivalent resistance will be equal to in parallel that is r by n and in series that will be equal to n r. So the value of r is n x. So your equivalent resistance, or you can say that your total resistance that will be equal to n into r value is n x. So that is n x. So that is equal to n square x. So the correct option is option D that is equal to n square x. Okay, next MCQs is resistance of a wire is R ohm. The wire is stretched to double its length. Then its resistance in R ohm is. So actually the resistance formula for the resistance is equal to rho L by A. So the wire is stretched. So stretched to double its length. So your L new length is equal to to double the old length so that is to double the old length so when the length get double then the area will also get half so your area new will be equal to area divided by two so now we need to find the r new and that is equal to rho l new divided by a new and that is equal to rho l new is 2 l divided by a new is a divided by 2 so your r new will be equal to 4 rho l divided by a and that is equal to r so your r new will be equal to 4 times r but in this case resistance of a wire is r ohm so your r is equal to r small r so your r new will be equal to 4 r so 4 r so option b is the correct answer okay next mcqs is a chop second law is based on law of conservation of charge energy momentum mass so actually uh, we have two laws and that is the first law and second law. 
So first law is the is known as KCL Kirchhoff current law. Second law is the KVL Kirchhoff voltage law. So this is in this law charge is conserved in this law. And in this law energy is conserved. So this is the second law, law of KVL and that is the energy. So option B is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is the diameter of a the diameter of the nucleus of an atom is of the order of 10 to the power minus 31 meter, 10 to the power minus 25 meter, 10 to the power minus 21 meter, 10 to the power minus 14 meter. So in this case, the diameter of the nucleus is 10 to the power minus 14 meter. So option D is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is the mass of proton is roughly how many times the mass of electron? So that is the option C, 1840. So option C is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is the charge on an electron is known to be 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb in a circuit. The current flowing is 1 ampere. So let's note a charge is given to me and that is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. And current is also given to me that is equal to 1 ampere. How many electrons do we need to find n? How many electrons will be flowing through the circuit in a second? So time is 1 second. So actually I have a well-known formula that is the current is equal to n q divided by t. So just putting the values of all parameters. So my current is 1 ampere, n is unknown, q is 1.6 times 10 key power minus 19 coulomb, time is 1 second. So your n will be equal to 1 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So that is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the power minus 10 to the power plus 18. So is there any option that is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the power 18? No, all power is in 10 to the power 19. So, so that will be equal to 0. 0.625 times 10 to the power 19. So option C is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is two bullets mark 200 watt, 250 volt, and 100 watt, 250 volt are joined in series to 250 volt supply. Power consumed in a circuit is 33 watt, 67 watt, 100 watt, 300 watt. So actually we have a two bullets. So 2 bullets are connected in series to a power supply of how much to a power supply of 250 volt okay so this bulb is 200 watt and 250 volt this bulb is 100 watt and 250 volt so I need to find the power consume in circuit. So as we know that the power consume in the circuit will be equal to V square divided by R. So V is 250 square divided by R. And R is the equivalent resistance of these two series button. So first I need to find the resistance of bulb 1 then after that I will find the resistance of bulb 2. 
So resistance of bulb one will be equal to. I will use the same formula. So the resistance R one will be equal to V. V is two fifty volts divided by P is two hundred. So I will use calculator for this two fifty square divided by two hundred, and that is equal to three one two point five. Now I need to find resistance R two, and that will be equal to two fifty square divided by hundred, and that will be equal to six two five. So this R, this R is equal to R one plus R two. So six two five. Plus three one two point five, so that is equal to nine three seven point five. So I will use this formula. So now my P will be equal to two fifty square divided by nine three seven point five. And that is equal to that is equal to sixty six point six six. So that is approximately equal to sixty seven watt. So is there any option that is equal to sixty seven watt? Yes. So option B is the correct answer. Okay. Next MCQ is ampere second could be the unit of power. Conductance, energy, charge. So ampere second is the as we know that the current is I is equal to Q divided by T. So current is ampere, time is second. So that is the unit of Q, or you can say that charge. So option D is the correct answer. Okay, next MCQ is which of the following is not the same as watt? Joule per second. So watt is the unit of P power, and that is equal to I square R. So that is equal to ampere square times ohm. So this is no. Ampere volt, so P is also equal to I V, so that is ampere volt. So that is also equal to what? Joule per second. So my power is equal to energy per unit time, so that is the joule per second. So this is not so ampere per volt. So option B is the correct answer.